In this module, I'll be showing you how to edit both images and background images for your slides. Keep in mind that both have different purposes for your content, and that includes editing them. First, I'll show you how to add and edit images. Simply click on Insert from the tab and choose Pictures. A new window will pop up, prompting you to choose the picture that you want to use. Once you've chosen a picture, it will be added to your slide. To edit the picture, all you need to do is click on the picture and as you can see, on top of the screen, a new tab, Format, appears. If you click on that tab, you will get to see all the editing options available for you to choose from. You can do picture corrections, colors, and add artistic effects under the Adjust section. Once you've chosen the adjustment you want to make for your picture, click on the option and it will be applied instantly. Additionally, you can style or frame up your picture using the Picture Style section. As you can see, there is a range of styles that you can choose from. You can hover your mouse to any styles to see a quick preview of it. Let's go with this one. Additionally, you can also add borders, effects, and layout to your picture. Border gives an outline to the picture using different colors and lines to it. Effects, on the other hand, adds a visual effect to your picture, such as giving it shadows, reflections, glows, and 3D rotations. Finally, layout. Choosing a layout means you'll convert your picture to a built-in smart art graphic that can arrange, caption, and resize the pictures easily. Next is the Arrange section. This section helps arranging your picture to move either forward or backward. For example, if you have a text to be put up on top of your picture, click on the picture and send it backwards. This will automatically put your text forward instead of your picture. Next and final section is the size. If you ever need to crop your picture, click Crop and adjust the picture the way you want it to be cropped. You can also adjust the height and width of it using the arrows here. That is how you edit and format a normal image. Background image, on the other hand, differs from normal image. To see the difference, right-click on any slide and choose Format Background. From the options given, you can fill your slide background using a solid, gradient, picture, or pattern backgrounds. Say, for example, you want to use a solid fill as your background. From the window, choose your desired color and click Apply. See how it applies to the chosen slide? If you want to use this color for the rest of your slide, you can just click Apply to All from the previous box and the rest of your slides will change accordingly. This technique also applies to the rest of the background fill options, be it patterns and pictures. There you have it. In the next module, I'll show you how to edit your text to give it a more compelling effect to your content.